this is Selma Schimmel and you are looking live at the great city of Chicago, which is once again playing host to the American Society of Clinical Oncology, ASCO. This is ASCO's 49th annual meeting and this year's theme could not be more appropriate, Building Bridges to Conquer Cancer. More than 30,000 of the world's foremost cancer specialists are here and so is The Group Room, making our 15th appearance at ASCO and one of our very best. Joining me now is Dr. Heinz Joseph Lenz, Associate Director for Clinical Research and co-leader of the Gastrointestinal Cancers Program at the USC Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center. Dr. Lenz is Professor of Medicine and Preventive Medicine, Section Head of GI Oncology in the Division of Medical Oncology and co-director of the Colorectal Center at the Keck School of Medicine at the University of Southern California. Welcome back, Dr. Lenz. I'm happy to be back. Let's start with Colon. colorectal cancer. I think this year is another exciting step forward. When we, two of the major clinical trials were presented this year, one from Italy and one from Germany, both randomized first-line diagnosed metastatic colon cancer. The Italian group used Folferi Avastin versus Folfoxiri Avastin, where all three active chemotherapy drugs were combined. And the data are really impressive because the response rate went over 65%. That is very impressive. And the time to progression over one year. Usually we expect about nine months, maybe 10, but this went up to over a year. But the most exciting part is that in the combination chemotherapy, the survival hit more than 30 months. Now the control arm, what we often use, is Folferi Avastin arms. The median survival was 25 months. So now our control is more than two years. A year ago or two years ago, our goal was to reach two years. Now it's the baseline we want to improve from. And we could approve it in the intensification of chemotherapy by adding 5-FU, IV notican and oxaloplatin to higher response rate, longer time of progression, and a survival we have not seen in any randomized phase 3 clinical trials. Do you ever visualize, though, that it'll come a time with a patient with more advanced disease? I don't want to use the word cure. I just It's too big of a word, but that... Their disease could go into a really long, long, long remission and maybe not come back. Is that a silly thought? No, or? absolutely not. I'm hoping this will happen. It will not happen like a switch that we suddenly cure everyone. I think that would be silly to assume. But we are curing more and more patients because with more effective treatment, there is a direct correlation where we combine chemo and surgical intervention more and more frequently. And any curative resection leads to increased cure. So I have no doubt about it. We will also increase overall survival. So the long-term survival, which we now more than tripled with no treatment, is of course a basis and the addition of being smarter in selecting the right treatments, but also having, adding more effective agents. In September last year, we had recorafenib, a new oral drug improving overall survival in patients who failed everything else. There are a couple of ongoing clinical trials which can lead to approval in the next one or two years. So we have more drugs. I think we need to get smarter to treat patients with specific combinations, not like everyone the same. And I think there are now signs that that may happen, that we're doing better molecular profiling and not do only RAS. So, and that will all help with the goal also to cure more patients. What do you expect from coming out of this ASCO meeting over the course of the year, the focus to be on colorectal cancer? I think there is a couple of interesting um, information I go back home. I think with all our developments and sometimes we were frustrated and disappointed that it's not faster, I think we reached a new 
level of overall survival benefit we have not seen. Two, more than two years in the control arm is unheard of. And in the selection arms, with KVAS testing or combination chemotherapy, the response rate goes over almost 70%. The survival to 30 months, that gives me a significant hope. I think from the genetic understanding, we have completely opened up a whole dimension of new understanding that the molecular escape mechanisms, we don't maybe, maybe need a biopsy of the tumor anymore. We can do liquid biopsies. We can detect the DNA of the tumor in a blood sample, which seems to reflect the tumor. So changes under which the tumor responds to treatment can be readily detectable, and our treatment decisions can be so much smarter. Would this be a tumor marker? That's or tumor marker or tumor characteristics. So this would give us an understanding why the treatment does not work, and this testing would open up completely new treatment options. I think we will see in the future that we treat colon cancer with ALK inhibitors. We will see colon cancer treated with Herceptin because some of these will happen. Not in 50 percent, but maybe 5 percent. Thank you, Dr. Lems, Associate Director for Clinical Research and co-leader of the Gastrointestinal Cancers Program at the USC Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center, Professor of Medicine and Preventive Medicine, Section Head of GI Oncology, in the Division of Medical Oncology and co-director of the Colorectal Center of the Keck School of Medicine at the University of Southern California. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for being back.